Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. Guys, I know I have a lot of hair on my head right now, it's all like puffed up, but today's video is all about BoxyCharm by Ipsy. And here's the box I got. We're gonna test a lot of different products, some of the stuff that I'm really curious about, other stuff I tried already. I filmed like a little TikTok, so I am able to tell you actually my thoughts about those products. I just couldn't wait and unfortunately I wasn't able to film due to my sickness. Those were some crazy days and I'm so happy to come back and I'm so happy to have my voice back. At least, you know, Maybe it's not still, it's not there, there, but it's kind of like coming back, so I'm very excited. Let's just not waste our time, why would we do that, right? Okay, so we're gonna start from the card, like always, and this month's theme called It's a Self-Love Affair. The little piece of paper showing us different deals and all that stuff they have, you know the drill. And the first product I want to talk about is gonna be actually a moisturizer, and I'm not usually happy to get moisturizers in BoxyCharm by Ipsy, just because I do how my own taste and my skin is very specific about the products I'm using. Sometimes I'm lucky to get something that I've been eyeing on, but this specific product and this specific brand, I've heard about this, I'm not gonna lie, I think I've seen this either in one of the choices one time or maybe I even got something from this brand, I'm not sure. I think maybe I got a mask. I think I got a mask from this brand. The first product we're gonna talk about is gonna be this Grown Alchemy Skin Renewal Day Cream, that retails for $46. It has 65 milliliters, 12 months of a shelf life. It's made in USA. From the key ingredients, we have niacinamide, echinacea, and reishi extract. Basically, everything to protect our skin barrier. And what's good about this product is that it's supposed to be very gentle, and uh, it's in this tube that always, for some reason for me, I don't know guys how you feel, but it just looks a little cheap for me. It's supposed to be a very lightweight cream and it has kind of like, I would say like beigey color. The thing about this product, it does have a pretty strong scent. I would say it smells very like earthy, grassy. And I do want to mention that if you are interested in this product, you can find this on sale everywhere basically, so you don't have to pay a full price. I'm pretty sure that the price I'm saying to you right now, it's not a full price either, because there are so many sites who have this uh, product on sale. There's also green tea extract that's a really good antioxidant and uh, niacinamide who's supposed to control your oil. Also it does contain moringa peptides that's supposed to help your skin with environmental stressors. So technically there's quite a bit of good ingredients. The good thing about this scent, when I'm reading the ingredients list, it's not like a actual fragrance. This is based on the uh, massive amount of ingredients and a lot of them are basically different oils, there is uh, aloe barbadan, this leaf juice, there is a mushroom extract, there is jojoba seed oil, there is so much stuff going on here, so I do realize that this grassy smell comes from the ingredients, which is great. So let's try this. I mean, I'm not hesitant at all because I do need to get ready for work, so this is going to be our primer. I just hope that it's not gonna irritate me. I have a very long day today and I'm gonna be home probably around 10, so this product has to help me to keep my makeup stay in a good shape. So I am using quite a bit of the product, I'm not gonna lie, it does go into the skin very nicely and very smooth. It does feel very moisturizing, but I'm really hoping this is not gonna disturb my skin tint on the top. So it doesn't feel greasy, it feels very nice, surprisingly. Oof, I still smell it and I'm not happy about the sound, but what can we do about that, right? So, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply my skin tint, probably do my eyebrows and prepare myself for the next product. That's gonna be a choice. So guys, I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so I'm back and my base is ready. So I had to wait a little bit till the moisturizer will absorb into my skin because this is not supposed to be right away a primer. So you kind of need to give it a time to, you know, do its thing and uh, absorb into your skin, just like I mentioned before. 
before. Now, when I'm looking at my base, I see that everything applied very nicely on, so I'm very excited. Hopefully, it's gonna wear throughout the day nicely too. And uh, usually, I don't use like straight primers. What I've been using lately, it's this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum, and you see that it's well loved. And um, I think that this combines with uh, skin tint I use from L'Oreal, and even with my Fenty Beauty skin tint that I'm mentioning in every my video for some reason, I don't know why. This is just something I'm reaching for. I think they pair really nicely together, so I was really curious to see how this moisturizer will work together with this product. So far, so good. So I don't want to jinx it. Let's just jump into checking out the next product. And the next one was my choice, and this is V Cosmetic Brow Gel Fix in Clear. I couldn't find this gel on their official site, just in black. Based on Ipsy, it's $19. It does have six months of a shelf life, made in China. This was one of the products that I've tried already and honestly guys I was hoping to get a better hold from this just because when I'm opening the product the consistency is very like thick you would expect it to hold your eyebrows really nicely my eyebrows are a disaster if you don't know me yeah those guys need a good hold because they just all go in different direction the product is cruelty free I think Patrick Ta has the closest to this applicator there's a lot of brands but for some reason just reminds me of Patrick Ta let's just try to apply this I do know how it works at first my eyebrows feel nice and look nice but then I wish it hold it a little better but today I'm gonna do another shot and I'm gonna give it another chance to prove itself especially knowing that this was my choice at least it doesn't make my eyebrows look crusty that's like the worst thing ever when you see that crust and white cast it's immediate no for me so for my choice area we did have here matte lip lacquer I'm not a big fan of matte lipstick in a liquid formula to be honest lately I've been using bullet lipsticks a lot in a soft matte finish especially there is also tease cosmetics lip gloss that was looking all right. This vitamin C lip treatment, I've seen this many, many times and I almost got this one because, you know, when I'm not sure about my choice, I usually like hustle between two or three choices, but I decided to skip this due to this brow gel situation. There's also highlighter from Wonder Beauty and uh, powder bronzer that I wasn't really interested in. So that's what we got. We got clear eyebrow gel and considering that I'm running low on all my clear eyebrow gels, that's something that I was hoping it would help me with my stubborn eyebrows, but we'll see. We'll see today. Another day, another wear test. Based on what I saw already, that was that was okay. Okay, guys, the next product is not my choice. Ipsy gave me without any chance to choose, but I'm very excited and I prepped already my eyes because we got here a new eyeshadow palette. And this one is Ace Boutte Mystic Romance Eyeshadow Palette that retails for $38.99. It's a new eyeshadow palette and supposedly it's all already sold out on their official site. The packaging is gorgeous. It has 12 months of a shelf life, cruelty free, made in China, 15 colors. And uh, I am familiar with this formula. I got already Violet Sage palette in one of my previous boxes. That was the color story. And guys, if I'm telling you that I adore this color story, that just tells everything. The swatches that I'll show you of this mystic romance were kind of close to this one. This had a lot of pastels, but they performed kind of similar. I still keep this palette close to my area just because I find myself reaching for this color sometimes because it's such a unique color story. So I'm very excited actually to play with another palette from this brand. And look at those flowers. They kind of like popping through the packaging and it's just so adorable. And here's my eyeshadow palette. I kind of was hoping to see a little bit more from those colors. I'm not gonna lie. They swatched all right. Mattes were pretty pigmented, but they are very dark. Let's give it some slack. The colors are really cute. This is something that I would probably use on a daily basis. That's my color story. That's for sure. I think we're gonna jump right into creating an eye look. And I have nothing on my mind to be honest but I think that we're gonna start from the color that's called sacred just to kind of like prep our eyelids I really didn't want to do anything super crazy today just because we are gonna try product that's kind of like mascara like so I can't use falsies because of the other product we got in Ipsy but I'm realizing that you know this color story definitely tells you what to do you can't really make it not bold right now the color 
color I'm using. That's the only color that's light. The other ones are just very, very pigmented and very deep. Okay, that's actually giving me quite a bit of color payoff, which is surprising because you usually don't see this color on my eyelid. But next, I do want to use the color that's called Rose. I think let's start from Rose and let's go from there. I'm gonna get some clean brush and let's use this color basically on our eyelid. I'm always starting from the kind of like middle part closer to the inner portion and I'm moving my way whenever I want it to go. I'm kind of like buffing it all over and so far it does give me beautiful payoff. Last eyeshadow that I got had pastels like I mentioned before and those colors just... It was a little harder for me to build but overall I still have this palette near me which tells a lot because I normally just pack everything that I'm not planning on using anytime soon in my drawers in another room but this stayed with me here which means a lot. That is such a cute color guys this pink such a beautiful pink. I'm not going with this color on my actual eyelid. I've noticed that I'm kind of like buffing this a little higher. It's so crazy because I said I've noticed like I don't know what I'm gonna do and when I'm applying colors on my eyelids I'm usually following the color more than my own idea because you know eventually color will tell you what to do. Then I'm thinking to use this temptress color. It's like a beautiful deep mauve color and I'm thinking that I'm gonna probably use another brush and I'm not sure what to expect from this color so I'm gonna kind of like apply this at the outer portion. Oh this actually blends super beautifully and whenever there's less product on the brush I'm kind of like buffing it. Oh, that's a nice, nice color. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go crazy just because I'm gonna mix this color with other colors and I know that's gonna definitely create a different vibe for this look because Valentine's Day passed already and we're definitely not doing a Valentine's Day look. But so far it kind of looks like that. Those are my colors. I love them on my skin and I was very excited to get this palette when I saw the color story. Wow, that's actually really cute. So next I'm gonna use this card it's called fog this one is gorgeous this one has cooler tones so i am hoping to kind of make these colors a little cooler looking i'm using clean brush and i'm tapping very carefully this color on my outer portion and i'm not gonna go far i'm just gonna stay right here to deepen out this whole area and that's actually very pretty i'm like a little too excited for this colors i don't know why and then i'm using the brush with that i believe it was a rose color wow that's so pretty I hope you can see through the camera like the colors go into each other so nicely and there's like endless possibilities for you to play just because of the different shimmers and the different undertones of the mattes it just there's whole a lot of stuff to do okay so next I think I'm gonna use this color that's called haze this one it's a beautiful matte brown color I'm gonna apply this for for my lower lash line. It has such a beautiful undertone and it combines with like the whole look so nicely. From some angles it looks almost a little mauve which is really cool. You know guys, now when I'm looking at this color, I do want to add this color as well on my top lash line and I'm gonna just, you know, deepen out this area even more because it does look so pretty and I do want this color on my eyelid as well. It is a very pretty palette for this month, that's for sure. Just because we're not gonna go crazy with lashes. I do want to probably do a cut crease. I don't want to go even deeper than that. But the thing is about this eyeshadow palette, if you guys want to see more looks using this palette, I will be more than happy to do that for you, like to create like a full separate video. I probably should have done that, you know, because I feel like there's so many things I could do with this. So I am gonna do a little cut crease. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna add some pop of the shimmer. And I'm um, just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think we're gonna use those two colors, the Aura and Celestial. So let's start from probably Aura color. I'm gonna dip my finger in this color and I'm gonna press it at the cut crease area. Ooh, and then I'm gonna top this with the Celestial color, the lighter one, because this one has kind of like a little different undertone and a little chunkier shimmer pieces. Oh, inside of the palette on the mirror, there's a writing, you are beautiful. It's like playing with the 
name of the brand. It's just so cute. And then I'm gonna use the brush with our last color that was super deep. I'm gonna just tap a little bit on the outer portion. That's actually really cute. Let's do a cut crease on our left eyelid. I even like this look with a cut crease by itself without any shimmer. It has its own charm. But obviously we're gonna add the shimmer. Okay, then I do have a purple liner that I want to use in my waterline. Oh, I'm really liking this. Oh, okay. All right. Then I'm going to use clean brush and I'm going to kind of like clean up this inner portion part. Yay, that's very pretty. So we're almost done with our eye look, but I do still want to use a little bit of this card that's called Spalp. Mm, you know what? Let's do this starry. Why not? Let's play a little. And I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line in the middle. And I really hope it's not going to give us a lot of fallouts. I'm playing with fire here. Mm, this may give us fallouts. That could possibly be a mistake, but too late now. It does look cute at first, but then I do know that it may give me some problems. To highlight our inner corners, I'm going to use this celestial color. This beautiful shimmer. Okay, guys, and then I think I'm gonna do my mascara. I'm gonna come back to you in a second because the next product, it's connected to mascara portion, so I'm very excited to check that one out. So let me do my mascara and I'll be right back. You know, guys, I'm really loving this look with the mascara on. Like, it looks so cute. But the next product we're gonna talk about was my choice and there was so much buzz around this product, so I'm finally able to try this. And this is also on sale on all possible sets. On the official side, at all time, a lot of resellers just have this on sale, so I'm not sure what to expect because usually it's not a good sign, but I'm still quite excited to try this. So we're gonna try MAC Cosmetics slash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher that retails for $16.80 at Ulta. It has six months of a shelf life, 6.5 milliliter. it's made in Italy. It's such a cool concept, so what they tell you to do, you can basically refresh your mascara throughout the day, and you can do this at any point of the day because you know you realize that at the maybe in the middle of the day your mascara kind of doesn't look as fresh and nice as it used to be your lashes feel a little uh, tired so it's kind of like a refresher i've heard people using this instead of mascara but i did want to really use it for its purpose the applicator is very interesting and it's definitely not soft but it is very flexible so it's kind of like giving you space to do your stuff so i just applied mascara and I do want to kind of like go through it with this applicator. Oh, it almost makes my lashes clumpy. Now I'm a little worried to use this on the other eye. It is adding volume, but it's making my lashes very clumpy. I don't think I can do that. I'm very hesitant to keep using this because all the spots where I applied this, my lashes just got stuck together and I had to go over with a clean spoolie to actually separate them. So I think I'm gonna put this aside. And if anything, I'll update you in one of my next videos about this product because I'm not feeling it right now. And I don't wanna mess up my look because I mean, we worked hard to create this. So I don't want it to go down the drain. I do appreciate the concept. I feel like it's a really nice concept, but for some reason adding this product on the top of my mascara It just messing up my lashes completely It's like it has excess of mascara and my lashes can't handle the amount of this product But I do see that it may give you some volume I think I'm using really good mascaras and I'm very happy how my lashes look throughout the day that I technically don't need this product So maybe I'll use some other mascaras that I have that I'm not crazy about and then see how it goes That sounds like a plan and the last product we're gonna Gonna use today is gonna be this Elise Beauty Ultra Glow Lip Oil in the shade Ruby. It has 6.5 milliliters, made in China, has 24 months of a shelf life, and it retails for $30. The packaging does remind me of Too Faced lipsticks, and I believe those are lip balms. It looks like very similar packaging. I did try this lip oil before. I filmed like a whole video about this, and I have one issue of getting this applicator of the product. I feel like they should have a little more space because it's really hard and uh, besides that it has my favorite doe food applicator it smells so nice it smells like watermelon and gives you gorgeous glow like very nice very juicy and feels amazing it feels really nice like non-sticky lip gloss it doesn't stay on the lips as long as they claim it to stay but honestly i don't mind it i like the color like the tint it gives because it's such a light tint and my lip just needs a little bit of something so i 
I do really like it and this smell just reminds me straight of the summertime and I feel like so many people lately been talking about summer because everybody miss summer it's been very cold outside it's a really nice and very soothing product so I do see myself reaching for this definitely I cracked a little bit the packaging over here like there's a little crack when I was trying to get this out so yeah the packaging could be better but product by itself is nice 30 bucks it's a little it's a little expensive but guys when I was trying to find this on LED side I saw that everything sold out and as soon as I'm clicking at any of the products it pushes me on the front page where it's all about like Black Friday stuff and there's like deals and I checked their Instagram and it feels like they do a lot of ads but are they still good? Do you know anything about this brand? If you guys know any news about Elise Beauty, please leave me a comment down below because I do really love this brand and I feel so sad even thinking that they possibly could go down. I don't know what to think. Like this, maybe there's some glitch on the side or I don't know. I don't know guys, you tell me. If you know anything, let me know. But this lip oil is very nice. It's expensive. So I don't think I would necessarily go and buy this. I probably would get my Dior over this one. But if you got a chance to try this, it's very nice. And like the color is so cute okay guys i completely forgot to analyze my two last choices so here you can see that i had laura geller it was multitasking uh, trio i wasn't crazy about that there was also hydrating gel from in beauty project i wasn't crazy about that either styling cream there was also watermelon dream serum and body cream like everything basically like body or hair care related and this trio that i wasn't crazy about so i decided to try this lash dry shampoo and if we're talking about this Eloise Beauty lip oil. There were some nice brushes. I was thinking about those brushes. I do have enough brushes. I feel like I have no space right now because I'm just getting more and more brushes all the time and it's it's filling up. There was also a liquid blush that looked really cute. The color, this pink, so nice, but no. There was also hair serum, dual liners. I was really close to getting those uh, dual liners because I think my brown liquid liner just dried down and I kind of need it. And there was also quad eye shadow that looks okay. So that was an easy choice. I'm not gonna lie. But overall, if we're talking about the total price of this box, it is $150.79. Sense. So technically we did get some good deals. I really want to tell you that this eyeshadow palette is very pretty and I can't even believe that, you know, everything worked out so nicely. I do see that those shimmer colors, they are gonna fade away throughout the day, but still I'm loving this eye look and I feel like for the price point it's a really really good deal if you are looking for a color story like that. The undertones of mattes, they are just amazing. Like they really really work through this color story to make everything work together. Even when I applied this color on my lower lash line, I really wanted this on my top lash line. All the colors were going into each other very nicely. Kind of like making all the colors work together. It's just, it's so good. If we're talking about this day cream, I feel like it did its job. It gave me a good hydration. I wouldn't run and get this just because of the scent and the price point. But overall, I do feel like 65 milliliters, it's pretty big amount of cream. And I think I'm maybe... If I'll have enough time in the morning time, I will keep using this to hydrate my face before makeup. I feel like it worked so far pretty good. If we're talking about this Ellie's Beauty lip oil, I really adore this. I do feel like it's a little too expensive, but I'm very actually curious to know what's happening with the brand and is everything okay. And now when I'm talking about this out loud, I just I keep thinking about this and it's bothering me because I hope everything is great. I wish just all brands to do their job and uh, stay on the market because you know it's a tough business. Then we have here V Cosmetic Brow Gel. It's not gonna freeze your eyebrows, let's put it like that. It's all right. Like I got this, I tried this, that's good. But if you would ask me would I go and repurchase this, that's a probably a no for me. I'm a little disappointed after using this product. I need to play with this. This is the concept that I think may have potential it just i feel like adding this extra coat to my lashes just made my lashes very clumpy and i absolutely hate when my lashes are clumpy but i would be very curious to see how it's gonna work by itself like as a mascara and also maybe at the end of the night i would use this again and see maybe my lashes get dry like at the end of the night but i don't know at this point i'm always happy with my lashes because i'm trying to make them look nice straight from the beginning and i don't feel like this is something i will be reaching for but we'll see i want to 
play with this. I want to play with this and then update you guys. Okay, guys, so that was pretty much it for today's video. I had so much fun playing with those products, completely different areas, and I feel like it was like very fun to create this look using those and actually see how everything's performing. I had some high hopes, I'm not gonna lie, and unfortunately, big piece of my hope had to crash due to some products that didn't perform the way I wanted them to perform. But if you tried anything from this selection, let me know in the comments down below. Also, leave me your thoughts and let me know what do you think about this eye look. What did you get in your BoxyCharm by Ipsy this month? I'd love to know your opinion, guys. What did you choose and what are your overall thoughts about this month's box? And like always, let's learn a Ukrainian word. And today I decided to tell you how to say a friend in Ukrainian. So if you want to say a friend in Ukrainian, you would say it like друг, друг, друг. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I love you all very much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!